Good morning. Would you believe it? I had to get up out of the bed. I mean, it's really early in the recording of this. But I had something I had to say. You know, Tyree Nichols, this tragedy that we as a nation and we as a people are experiencing due to the fact that we are so far off the mark of that which pertains to life. And it's something that is constant. And the thing that's troubling me as I see people sit and talk about this, as we've talked about it so many times before, still not coming up with solutions, I mean real solutions. They're saying things that we've said before and they are probably considering trying some things that have been tried before, especially this elite unit, this unit that is put together to make the community feel that the politicians that they have chosen to represent them are really trying to do something to stem the tide of the crime and stuff that is being perpetuated against the people. And for many times and for most parts, people accept this. They, are like, they might not like it, but they see the crime go down and so they are quiet and they just consider this a temporary solution like an aspirin. It'll come back. And it is a reality, ladies and gentlemen, that this will come back because it is a problem that is systemic. It's not going to go away. You have to system it out of the way. And we have failed to do that. When we find people committing crimes, there's an indication that there's a shortcoming within the system someplace. And for reasons we all know, is because we don't care about people. What we really care about is making money. So we look for a way to solve the problem that doesn't cost us any money, or if it costs us some money, it doesn't cost us as much money, or there's something else that's so valuable that we want to protect, that we'll spend money to protect that other thing which is so valuable. So rather than try to solve the problem of, that brings about crime and violence, we'll get a police, a jail, put people in jail, give the guys the guns, give them an, an elite unit, do whatever is necessary rather than solve the problem. Solving the problems mean you don't need jails or not as many. You won't need cops or not as many. And you won't need guns if you solve the problem. But who's going to solve the problem? Who wants to solve the problem? Who knows what the solving the problem is? People just really don't know, and if they think they know, they think they're crazy for thinking like that, because people have been programmed to believe that money, which is what every human being in America is seeking after, and they're seeking after it legitimately so, because without money, you cannot do anything. You can't, you don't even have a place to piss if you don't have money. You get caught on the street, you're going to jail. So what I'm trying to say, ladies and gentlemen, we really don't care about one another. We are beautiful. Money won't allow us to care about one another. To get my money or more money, I got to make sure that you get less money because the money I get is coming out of your hand. It's like getting in debt. You don't have any money, but in order to get money, you got to go in debt. Is that a solution? You ask yourself how you're going to pay get out of debt. You don't get out of debt. You stay in debt. So that's the situation we find ourselves in today. When we see the things that our brothers, black brothers, so many of them that are beat down. And it's just one small tidbit of the problem that exists. We have to fix them all. And while we are focusing on this because it is so catastrophic and it caught us at a moment of time when we hoped that it was over till we put it our, seemingly our whole focus on it. But ladies and gentlemen, we must also admit that this elite unit was a representation of our failure as people, as citizens, as brothers and sisters. It is a result of our failure. We also see it that we will not solve the problem We'll go along with this temporary stuff that we know doesn't work. But we'll try to convince ourselves or convince one another that we're trying to do something. But we're not trying to fix the problem. 
And even today when they say get rid of the unit, the reason that the unit came together, those things will continue to exist. Because getting rid of the unit is not the problem. The unit is there because the problem exists. Getting rid of the unit, the problem is still there. And we are not even looking at solving the problem. We are looking in many places throughout the nation at creating more problems, more distress.